Hello everyone, and welcome to this tutorial on how to install Hadoop on Ubuntu. In this video, we'll walk you through each step to get Hadoop up and running on your system. Before we begin, make sure your system is connected to the internet. First things first, let's ensure your Ubuntu is up to date. Open your terminal and type the following command, sudo apt get update. This will update your package lists, ensuring everything is ready for our installation process. Had Hadoop is built on Java, so we must first install the Java Development Kit, or JDK. To do this, enter the command sudo apt-get install default JDK, When prompted, type Y and hit Enter to proceed with the installation. The installation might take a few moments depending on your internet speed. Once it's done, let's verify that Java was installed correctly by typing Java double dash version. You should see the Java version displayed, which means we're all set. Next, we'll create a new group and user specifically for Hadoop. This is an important step for security and management reasons. By isolating Hadoop processes in their own group and user, we can better manage permissions and ensure that Hadoop runs smoothly. To create a new group named Hadoop, type sudo add group hadoop now we'll add a new user to this group you can name the user whatever you like but for this tutorial we'll use a user enter the command sudo a doozer in group hadoop a doozer you'll be prompted to set a password for this new user after entering the password simply press enter for the rest of the details And finally confirm by typing Y. And there you have it. Our new user, HDoocer, is ready. Moving forward, we need to install SSH, which Hadoop uses to manage its nodes. Simply type sudo apt get install SSH and again confirm with Y when prompted. Now we'll switch to our new user, Ochdoocer. To do that, type su Ochdoocer and then enter the password you set earlier. Once you're in, navigate to the home directory by typing cd. Next, let's set up ssh for this user. Start by generating an ssh key with the command SSH keygen. Just keep pressing Enter for all the prompts. Then, to start the SSH service, use the commands. We're now ready to download Hadoop. Open your web browser and go to the following link. Download the file named hadoop-3.3.4.tar.gz. Once the file is downloaded, it will be in your downloads folder by default. We need to move it to our hduser home directory.
Start by switching back to your default user using sue your username and navigate to your home directory with CD. Then copy the Hadoop file with sudo cp hadoop 3.3.4.tar.gz slash home slash hd user. Switch back to 8doozer with suhdoozer and confirm that the file has been moved by typing ls. Before we extract the Hadoop files, we need to give our 8doozer root privileges. Switch back to your default user and and type sudo adduser hduser sudo. Now switch back to hduser and navigate to the home directory. We can now extract the Hadoop tar file using the command sudo tar xvzf hadoop 3.3.4.tar.gz. This will unpack the files. After the extraction is complete, create a directory for Hadoop using sudo mkdir p slash usr slash local slash Hadoop. Navigate to the extracted Hadoop directory with cd hadoop 3.3.4 and move all files to the newly created Hadoop directory using Dot finally, set the ownership of this directory to hduser with Next, we need to configure some environment variables for Hadoop.
file and edit the .bash rc file with sudo nano tilde .bash rc. Scroll down to the bottom and paste the following lines. Let's start by finding the path to our Java installation. Open a new terminal and type update alternatives dash dash config Java. Copy the path to the JDK. Now go back to the original terminal. Replace the Java home path with the one you copied earlier. Save the file by pressing Ctrl plus O, hit Enter and exit with Ctrl plus X. To apply these changes, run source tilde slash dot bash next. We'll edit the Hadoop env.sh file. Open it with and add the line export Java home equals slash path to your Java. Again, save and exit the file. Now, let's create a temporary directory for Hadoop with and change its ownership with We need to configure the core site.xml file next. Open it using and add the following lines between the tags. Save and exit the file as before. Similarly, let's configure the mapred site.xml file by adding the following lines. We're almost there. Now, we need to set up directories for HDFS. First, create directories for the name node and data node with these commands. Then, Change their ownership with Next, we'll configure the HDF site.xml file. Open it with and add these lines.
With all the configurations in place, it's time to format the Hadoop file system. Run the command Hadoop name node dash format. Now, let's start the Hadoop services. Type start dfs.sh to start the HDFS service. and start yarn.sh to start the yarn service. Now let's minimize the terminal window and head over to Firefox. Open a new tab and type in localhost colon 9870. This will give us access to the Hadoop name node UI. Next, open another tab in Firefox and type in localhost colon 8088. This will open the Resource Manager UI, where we can monitor jobs and cluster resources. Once you've done that, Go ahead and minimize Firefox. Now, return to the terminal to verify that both the data node and name node are running smoothly. Thank you for watching this video. Do subscribe, like, and share this video.